Welcome guys, project number two, topic two. And welcome to a new edition of Aprendamos Juntos en Casa Inglés, corresponding to the project number two, topic number two. So let's get this video started, guys. As you can see in this picture, the topic for this week will be about telescope. Yes, this class will be about telescopes. Activity number one, draw a telescope and identify its parts. Here you have an example. Parts of the telescope, the objective lens, the optical tube, the eyepiece, tripod, mount. Next Activity, answer the questions below. Question number one, why do people need a telescope nowadays? Question number two, how is it important in people's lives? Pregunta número uno, ¿por qué la gente necesita un telescopio hoy en día? Pregunta número dos, ¿Por qué es esto importante en la vida de las personas? Don't forget, guys, that you have to answer the questions using your own ideas. Okay, question number one. Why do people need a telescope nowadays? We need telescopes in order to get a clearer view about what is outer our planet Earth, such as planets, stars, and galaxies. Question number two, how is it important in people's lives? Telescope is an important device due to it is used to form magnify images of distant objects. The telescope is undoubtedly the most important investigative tool in astronomy. It provides a means of collecting and analyzing radiation from celestial objects, even those in the four reaches of the universe. Next activity, listen to the teacher's Lecture. Page 9. People across cultures have always been curious about the stars, planets, moon, and sun. This interest has led many inventors, scientists, or even common people to build something that would help see what is beyond the clouds. The telescope as we know it has passed through massive transformation since it was first patented in 1608. Galileo constructed his own telescope and used it to see the moon and its craters as well as the Milky Way. He was the first to see the rings of Saturn and some of Jupiter's moons. Another famous scientist who made other significant contributions to the development of the telescope was Johannes Kepler. Christian Huygens built the most powerful and colossal telescope of his time in 1655, which could be used to see and study the solar system in detail. Then Isaac Newton built the first reflecting telescope, which was smaller and more portable with the same power. By 1789, the first six meter long giant telescope was built for astronomical observation to see Uranus and its moons. As technology and investigation advanced, telescopes were improved and made possible to see more in space. By 1845, the M51 nebula, a giant spiral cloud of dust and gas, was discovered. Radio telescopes appeared on the scene. 
the images were much clearer and meteors could be seen. Finally, the most powerful telescopes, space telescopes, such as the Hubble, made it possible to see incredible images from outer space. Hubble is going to be replaced soon by the James Webb Space Telescope. Okay, next activity. You have to answer the following question. Do you know what we can use to see what is in our space? Do you know what we can use to see what is in our space? Yes, we can use the telescope. Answer true or false. If it is false, correct it to make it true, okay? So you have to write the letter T if it's true or the letter F it is false, okay? Letter A, humans have always been interested in learning about the sky. B, the telescope has always been the same. C. The first telescope was patented in 1608 and was used to see the sky. D. Galileo Galilei was the first person to see the moon and its creators. The first telescope was invented in 1694 by Christian Huygens. F. Isaac Newton invented a smaller portable telescope. G. M51 is a start. H. Giant telescopes were built in the 18th century. I. Radio telescopes were invented before giant telescopes. J. Space telescopes are the most powerful telescope. Okay, guys, you have to answer true or false. Finally, we have interesting facts. Hubble Telescope. This telescope was named in honor of Edward Hubble, who discovered thousands of galaxies from an observatory in California. It is located 547 kilometers from the planet's surface and can travel the complete orbit in 95 minutes. Since 1990, Hubble has made more than 1.3 million observations. The darkest nights produce the brightest stars. No olviden, chicos, que las noches más oscuras producen las estrellas más brillantes. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Muchas gracias, chicos, y a todas las personas que visitan semana a semana mi canal de YouTube. No olviden suscribirse, dale click a la campanita para que puedas recibir todas las notificaciones cada vez que subo un video. Si tienes alguna duda o necesitas algún material, déjame saberlo en los comentarios. El material que he utilizado en este video estará en la descripción de mi video. Estará el link para que puedas descargarlo libremente. También dejaré el link del audio the listening activity para que puedas escuchar y así puedas mejorar la parte auditiva en inglés. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. No se olviden, yo soy Mayra Alejandra, la profesora locutora semana a semana llevándoles lo mejor de la información en inglés para todos ustedes. Conmigo será hasta un próximo video. See you next time.